Welcome back to Lemmings World Tour, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, your host as always, and we are continuing the Diva Rank today. We have gotten ten levels down in the Diva Rank. The first five were a cinch, the next five were a bit tougher, so a little bit of an inconsistent difficulty curve, but hey, that's the only to be expected in a Lemmings pack. It's very difficult to determine which ones are going to uh, be hard for some people versus others. We're on level 11, Don't Cry For Me Argentina, by A. Lloyd Webber. I actually recognize this song title, and it looks like we are in a very cold land. Not sure what that flag is, but whatever. We got 80 lemmings. We can kill 10 of them? Wow. Got some interesting architecture here, such as what appears to be a giant harp. With the crystal things going that way. Okay. There's some dents in a few of these harp strings, or what have you. Okay. You got a lot of destructive skills, which is interesting. Oh, there's a button up there. Fantastic. So I'm guessing we're going to need to platform from the top. That seems to make a good deal of sense. Alright, well, let's, let's start by trying to get people out of here. That will do it. However, they can still come back for more. And I don't really want that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bomb him again. Beautiful. Okay. Hmm. Getting to the exit is actually going to be a little bit tricky, I think. Maybe not. Anyhow. Let's try some stuff. Is that the only button on the level? It appears to be the only button on the level. So what I'm going to try is... the thing. We can do that, and that opens up the door for others to join. Which is pretty great. Now, unfortunately, he's gonna die, but that's only to be expected. He's in a very dangerous job, after all, being a lemming. Oh, I just read that. He's something bad. We're gonna need the platformer for death from down here. Well, hang on a second. Maybe this isn't bad. Let's only send up one climber. And let's clone the climber, hey. So if we do something like this... Okay, I like that. I mean, I don't like that the lemming had to die, but... Well, what's she gonna do? Alright. So now this lemming can go on a fantastic voyage. Beautiful. Okay. Another simple level. Oh, wait, whoa, what happened there? Oh! <laughs> That's actually kind of amazing. Because I mined right the instant he turned around, it actually cut off a part of the stone. I'm gonna have to remember that. That's a potential trick I can use in one of my levels. Progress in the making. What could be better than that? Alright, we'll send up another climber while wow, he's busy mining. Uh, 
Oh, wait a second. I just realized he... That's actually... No, you know what? This is gonna work. Because I just realized if we mined through that, we would actually have one pixel of a gap that they can fall through. Fortunately, if we do that, that won't be a problem. I said that won't be a problem. Oh, come on! Don't, don't be that, don't be that way. How do I get it lower down? It won't be easy because mine from it essentially as low down as you can. Oh, I know. I don't really want to do that, but I kind of have no choice, do I? Now all I can hope is that the timing works out right. Let's see, that was actually too low. Oh, I suppose what we could do is, if we had enough climbers left, we could just climb and bomb their way through this. But can we do that with just one climber? I don't think we can. No, we only have three climbers, so that's actually not quite enough. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, that's actually super clever. Hopefully I'm not coming off as boastful. I don't mean to be coming across as boastful. And now we can use a stoner here at the end. And they all go to the exit! Alright, that was... Okay, I thought that was a simple level. That was deceptively tricky. But really cool trick involving the two bombers there, I must admit. Yeah! Alright, great start to the episode, I'd say. That was a very fun level. Well done, Strato. Alright. Warning, high encoding in OBS. It's freaking lemmings. It's not that hard to keep up, OBS. Anyhow, we're on level 12, Walking in Lemphis, by Mark Cohn. Alright. Oh, cloners are going to be involved, and I love the bridge. I love the American flag. This looks like it'll be pretty good, I'll, even though I don't really normally like the city tile set. And there's going to be cloners involved. Two of everything. This sounds great. So I believe that, yeah, that's totally splat height. Okay, well that's going to be a bit tricky, because we got two floaters, but we got to save everybody, and we need to get on saving them real fast. There is a one release rate, which is nice. And also, I think it's, yeah, a single stacker ain't gonna do squat. So what we could do is turn him around and... platform? There's also a hatch down there. Okay. And a hatch down there. Then the exit's encased in there. Alright, so one destructive skill will be needed for the exit. Oh, actually, because there are free hatches, these are they're gonna come out real slow. Also, nice one-way arrows there. Ah. I don't think a single platformer is going to stop them either.
Doesn't seem like it'll be that hard, though. And by that, I mean difficult. Ah, they still splat. I must say, floaters are one of the skills that I'd say are trickiest to use in any meaningful sort of way. Most of the tricks that involve floaters are very timing based. Don't be so picky. Oh, for crying out loud. This beginning part is a bit annoying, I must say. There we go, at last. Alright, so you're gonna go ahead. This seems... easy. So then we can double clone them out, so that combines all three hedges. Alright, and then... Honestly, I think that a digger at the end is going to be our best bet. So now let's max out the release rate. Alright, cool. Last Lemming is going to platform across here. Before he reaches the exit, he's going to build to turn around. These are one-way left arrows, so we can mine for these, and then bash through this, and everyone goes to the exit. Pretty simple level. I like those X of Everything levels, though. Those are very fun and tend to be nice and open-ended. Alright. I was walking in Lemphis. I don't exactly remember the rest of the, rest of the lyrics. Very nice level, though. That's a, that's a very fun one. Well done. Great architecture, great solution. Level 3. She's like a brick house. <laughs> and we've got the dog as well. This is by the Commodores. 120 lemmings, and you got to save 100. This is a huge amount. Holy cow. Also, there's a hatch in the house that are disarmers. Hatch on the left are climbers. Okay, what are we exactly getting into here? I like the look of the house. The, the windows are a nice touch. Even if the steel is a bit of an eyesore, but I'm sure it's there for a reason. The dog is a trap. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so... Well, well, we can afford to let a bunch of the climbers die. So that's... <laughs> These guys spawn stuck in the house. Okay. Can they bash? They can bash their way out of there. So honestly, they can just kind of do their own thing at the beginning. That's gonna be splat height, yeah. However, if we can platform to the dog's ears it won't necessarily be splat height. So if we, like, platform here... 
then they don't splat. Okay, then. And now we can just kind of... I'm gonna keep doing exactly what I did, but this time I'm gonna do it good. <laughs> Beautiful. So they're actually still trapped in there, that's great. Alright, so we got two bashers left. Only one fencer, though. So let's fence through the dog. That's super graphic, I know. But, um, I mean, come on. Alright. Uh, let's... Yeah, Bashin ain't gonna cut it. Let's mine through here. Do a little whoop-de-woo. Oh, I just had an idea on how to make them hard. And we, oh man, we even have two builders. Or we have two diggers as well. So if we do... So now we're gonna do this. Once we're through like this, all we have to do is do a little dig. Oh, okay. Let's let's not dig like that necessarily. Let's blow someone up like right there. Beautiful. That was another simple level. And you know we have a cloner to spare, so let's just let's just clone that guy. Why the heck not? We can save an extra lemming. And now they're all coming out. That was a nice level. Love the architecture and very simple solution. Also, this level gave me like one or two ideas for my own levels. I was afraid it was going to be a nuke level for a second, but nope. No such luck there. Level 14. We only have two levels left this episode. Nice. Foot of the Mountain. Well, this looks pretty awesome. Anybody who can make a Lemmings 2 Polar level look good deserves applause, because I find it one of the trickiest tile sets to work with. This is by Aha! We can kill two lemmings this time. Oh, it looks like it's snowing. We got the moon out. The snow is behind the moon, which is... At least I think it's behind the moon. It looks like it's behind the moon. That's a little weird. And... Ah, is that the Finland flag or the Sweden flag? I can't... I always get those two mixed up. It's the cross... <laughs> Or Switzerland? I don't know. It's it's someplace cold in Europe. I know that much. Okay. I should have figured there would be no diggers. <laughs> Alright. Um. Alright. Okay. Uh-huh. Amen. Hmm. This is a very peculiar level. Because we have very little in the way of skills. Alright, well... If this works, this will be great. Ah, not quite. Hmm. So that way is a dead end. We can't do anything that way. But if we go this way, we can bash through there. We can also use a stoner to cut the fall. That still might not even be enough to save them, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we're gonna have to use both sides. That's it. Alright, well... That's going to be splat height if he keeps off the platforming. That's not exactly what I wanted. How about we do something like... This.
Ooh, that's... I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, actually, we might... No, we're gonna need the, uh... The bomber. Things that go splat in the night. Now I need to turn him around. We got builders for that. Let's our way through there. Oh, beautiful. And there's one lemming who's alone. So we can turn them around with a bomber. Beautiful. Now we can bash through all this garbage. Oh no, that's splat height! Why? That ruined my hopes and my dreams. Um, is there a way to spare a basher, or do we only have two? That's not what you want. I was... That's gotta, like, just barely be Splat Knight, too. That's super stupid. Hmm. Well, then. I suppose we could fence our way up there and we could save a fencer there, but I don't know what good that would do. Alright, maybe I'm just doing the whole level wrong. For example, we could just get up here to constructive skills. Which is pretty great. It saves us a lot of skills. Now here's the thing. We can send a floater or something down there, but we can't do anything with them because we can't turn them around. So there's no point in doing that. We've got to find a way to turn them all around, and a bomber's literally the only way to do that. Now we have a lot more... Now we're in the same situation, but we have a lot more skills. I don't like how those two are clumped together, though. Here's a neat little trick. If you stone them right before they touch the ground, the stoner will still touch the ground. Alright, from as low down as possible. Okay, the problem is now we have no way of turning them around, we have no way of going down to the exit. If we could save the bomber, we could cut the fall and stone them. Which is dark, yes. Hmm. I really do feel like fencing up. For like, from here, fencing up would let them all out. We 
can use the platformers to turn them around. Platformers are less valuable than builders on this level. Alright, cool. So we've established this. So now if we build the turnaround... If we get a lemming up there, we could fence them in potentially. Okay, okay, I gotta know. I gotta know. Nah, we can't seal them in with a basher. Yeah, see, if we build from there, we can potentially walk up there, and if we could turn them around, we could fence up there. And all of our problems would be solved. Hmm. Only we could turn them around without using the bomber or the stoner. Bottom line is, they're all going to have to come down to the bottom, and we're going to have to turn them around with a stoner. So we can't use the stoner anywhere except at the bottom. I hate that. I hate how that's just barely splat height. Seriously, I think one pixel less, and it, they wouldn't splat. One or two pixels less, and they would not splat from that. that that's one of my biggest pet peeves with certain Lemmings levels. Constructive skills need to be used. It's really obnoxious. I also don't have like an efficient way of getting up that first tree. Like, can we do it with just a single constructive skill? I don't think we can. If we could use it with just one builder, that would be pretty great. One pixel too much. Last. So how do we tackle this mountain? <laughs> I'm also going to call you out on the fact that the snow is behind the moon. I mean, I, I don't think there's anything you can do about that, but it looks very odd. Uh. Oh! Or perhaps it's really not as deep as I've been led to think. <laughs> of course, we have two floaters. 
We can do that, and now we can fence our way up. I want just one lemming to get through. I want there to be a decent bit of a gap. That looks pretty good. Et voila! Okay, simpler than I expected. And now we can just bash them out through here. Didn't even need the glider. That was a really tricky level, holy cow, but I like that. Again, pretty looking polar level. Big plus in my book. Alright, I know we've gone a little over time, but I do want to try one last level for the video. Level 15, If You're Going to San Francisco. <laughs> By Scott McKenzie. Well, it's another city bridge level. Uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. We can kill five lemmings, so probably five bombers. Ah, uh, how did I know? Uh-oh, it's got the hard music, though. <laughs> so if we can get them all out of here, we can just walk them up the bridge. Or actually, we can... Wait. 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 Wait a... Wait. It can't be this easy. What? Okay, um... Okay, holy cow, how the heck did that happen? I'm gonna have to back words that. How the heck did that happen? Oh my gosh, that's crazy actually. <laughs> how that happened. Um so I'm gonna say that was probably not intended. Because holy cow, that was disappointing. Oh actually, hang on. No, 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 no. We're gonna save everybody. We don't even need a bomber at the beginning. Why does it take forever to go back one frame on this level? Yeah, I'm gonna call... That level was an absolute backward. Backward of the century right there, holy cow. Well, I'm glad I decided to do one last level. Either that or it's intended to try to mislead you into thinking it's really difficult when it's actually ridiculously easy. I defy anyone to beat that level more efficiently than I did. I used three skills and saved five extra lemmings. I saved literally every possible lemming. Wow! Ending the level on the back route of the century. That sounds like a great place to stop. Thanks for watching, everyone, and tune in next time for hopefully more back routes. Or at least five more diva levels. And it looks to see you... Look to see you again? I look forward to seeing you again. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.